adding wholesale prices to your WooCommerce store doesn't have to be a nightmare project that takes weeks of development time. In fact, you can have it up and running on your site today in just 10 minutes or less. Just take a look at my store that I set up for this video. It has everything merchants need to start selling B2B, including a login option for customers and tiered pricing, which are automatically applied following the rules that you set up. I've done this by using our very own WooCommerce Wholesale Pro plugin, which manages all the heavy lifting for you and creates a professional, fully functional wholesale environment in just a few simple steps. But it's way more complex than just basic bulk pricing. As I mentioned, you can set up multiple customer-specific pricing tiers, control access through a secure login area, and if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you how to set up this quick order form, which is a much better way to display your products for wholesale customers because they just wanna get in and buy everything that they need all at once. All right, enough chatting, let's get down to business. The first step is to get yourself a copy of the WooCommerce Wholesale Pro plugin. This is a premium plugin, so you'll need to purchase it from our website. You can find it linked below, and as with all our plugins, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. After purchasing your copy, you'll get an email with the zip file and a product key for activation. In the WordPress admin, go to Plugins, Add New, and upload the plugin zip file that you just downloaded. Then click Install, and then Activate. You'll need to enter your license key, which you can do in the setup wizard when it launches or from the plugin settings page. Continuing with the setup wizard, we have the option to set wholesale registration, moderate new registrations and disable tags. You can check or uncheck these boxes as needed. Then we have an opportunity to set a global discount. I'm gonna set it at 10% just to give us an idea of how this works and we'll click next. For now, we'll leave the wholesale store layout as it is. I'll get into this later in the video. Click next and then click go to settings page. Now that the setup wizard is completed, let's continue customizing our store, starting with the general settings tab. When you installed the plugin, it automatically created a wholesale login page and a wholesale store page. You can choose any other pages for these purposes, but it's easier just to leave them as is. The wholesale login page contains a login form for your wholesale users, and if you tick this box, you will enable a registration form for new users to sign up for a wholesale account. If instead you'd rather add them manually, then you can leave this box unticked. Further down the page, we have the option to display the original prices crossed out or just the wholesale prices available. You can also choose to hide all prices and disable purchasing for any logged out users. This would be most useful if you have a wholesale only store where they need to log in to make purchases. If you check this box, I also recommend adding some alternative content, something along the lines of prices available for logged in users only. I'll uncheck this and remove this. You can also choose to disable tax, coupons, and you can allow admins to see the default wholesale role prices. Then of course, save changes. If you wanna charge different prices to different wholesale users, you can do so by creating additional account tiers and then assigning those users to those tiers. Let's see how to do that. Then up here, let's move on to the roles tab. On this page, we can see the default wholesale role as well as any additional wholesale tiers or roles that we create. To add a new one, just click this button here and you can create a display name. I'll call it wholesale tier three and the discount on this will be 30%. You can make this the default role that all new wholesale registrations will be added to. In this case, I will not do that. And you can allow product specific pricing. I do recommend this as well as sale pricing if applicable. And here you can add the discount to the sale prices in addition to the sale. This is probably not recommended unless you have a very specific plan in mind. Tax status can be inherited from the main settings, or it can be disabled or enabled. And the display price can also be inherited from the main settings, or it can be including or excluding tax if you want it to. Then click Add Role. And I'm just gonna drag it down to the bottom so it makes sense. And over here, you can see how many users are assigned to each different role. You can also view them or add more using these buttons. 
You can set up pricing for each wholesale role as a global discount across your whole store, or you can control it on a more granular level by going down to the category, product, or even variation level. Start by going to products and categories. And here, when we edit a category, there's a new section for wholesale discounts. You can modify these discount percentages for each wholesale tier, or you can simply leave them as is and they will inherit the global discounts that were set up in the previous step. But note that you can also modify the product visibility. It can either be available to public and wholesale or just one or the other. I've set up this category to be visible to only my wholesale customers. So it's a wholesale exclusive item. Now, if we visit a specific product like this beanie and click edit, we can also access the wholesale pricing available here on the general tab. As a simple product, this is where the pricing screen is. If I had a variable product, I would need to go into the variations tab and edit the pricing for each different variation. Note that because our wholesale tier two and tier three have sale prices enabled, we can set those up here as well. Now let's take a look at our public facing WooCommerce store and see what it looks like from the perspective of a logged out user who then logs in to your store. So let's click on the wholesale login, which I've added to my menu. This page is also added by the plugin, as I mentioned earlier. Here, I'm going to use my login credentials as a wholesale account holder. And now you can see that the menu has changed at the top. We have the wholesale exclusive section, or we can simply view all of the products by clicking on wholesale store. And if you scroll down, you can see each different item has a price crossed out and the new price is added depending on my wholesale role and whatever settings were set up in the back end. So at the moment, it looks like it's 10%. But if I got upgraded to the wholesale tier two or tier three roles, then these discounts would increase as well. Don't forget you have the option to hide your entire store from the public before logging in, which is an option that may be useful in certain situations. I highly recommend adding a few menu items to your store, like this one here, wholesale store, and wholesale exclusive if you want to. But for logged out users, you can add the wholesale login option. So when they're logged out, then they'll just see wholesale login. If required, you can add wholesale users to your store manually. You can also migrate them or import them from other plugins. On the WordPress admin, go to users, click on all users, and then you can choose to add a new user and set up their account. Then you can set up their role as a wholesale role. For example, wholesale one, two, or three. Then click the add new user button and their account will be created and the password will be sent to their email address, which you added. If they register, then this will come through to your admin panel as a pending request. Then you can use the options to approve their submission if you want to. There is a setting which can allow registrations to be approved without moderation, but I don't recommend this. Those of you with a keen eye will have noticed that I glossed over some settings earlier. So I'll quickly just go over what those different settings can do for you. Now let's go back to WooCommerce settings and click on wholesale. Then we can click on a new option, layout. As you can see, the design of the shop page is not very user-friendly and adding items in bulk would take forever. So with the addition of WooCommerce product table, which can be purchased as part of a bundle with Wholesale Pro, you can change the shop page layout to a table or grid layout like this. This creates an ideal quick order form for your customers, helping them to order more items in less time. If you're curious, I talk more about this integration in the video that I've linked in the cards. In this case, I already have WooCommerce product table installed on my site. So I'm gonna click activate product table and let the plugins do their magic. Now let's refresh the page and see what the plugin has done. Now, depending on your theme and any other customizations you have running, this order form layout may look a little bit different than yours. You may also want to customize it so it's a little bit wider on the page, or you can customize the individual sizes of each column, which are set up by default by the plugin. 
All right, let's go back to settings and check out this emails tab. So basically this plugin comes with handy pre-written emails, which will help you with the management of your wholesale store and your customer accounts. So you can see these emails are all addressed to the customers and this email is addressed to you as the store manager. Then you can manage what email will be sent to them. And you can write different text in here to reflect the branding of your business and the tone of voice that you want to use. You can also change the subject line and the email heading. And finally, let's check out the registration fields tab. Here you can add extra fields to the registration form that we looked at earlier. For example, you might want to learn more about the new registrants, their businesses, their phone numbers, locations, etc. And you can make all of this information required if you want to. Once again, if you need a quick order form layout, then this video will explain everything for you. And just so you're aware, you'll save heaps when buying these two plugins together as a bundle. The link is here. And of course, thanks for watching.